Eight years after she was first diagnosed with breast cancer, Ange Cicchini is planning her final journey. When I found out about the tumour in my head, that was it then. I just realised that this is probably only a few months longer for me. She's now actively planning her death, organising her funeral and talking to her doctor about accessing Tasmania's new voluntary assisted dying laws. I want to have a dignified exit with people that I love around me and I think that every person on this earth is entitled to that. The laws take effect 18 months after they pass state parliament, sparking celebration for these campaigners. We don't expect that there'll be thousands of people suddenly lining up, you know, to avail themselves of VAD, but it will give thousands of people um, in Tasmania peace of mind. To access the new laws, people must be suffering from an illness that's expected to cause their death within six months or a year if it's a neurodegenerative disease. They also need to be of sound mind, acting voluntarily, over 18, and have lived in Tasmania for a year. It also needs two doctors to sign off on a request before the Commission gives it the green light. Our legislation has double-checked and double-ticked everything to ensure that people are never not going to be coerced, but also people are guided through who wish to access it, and people who are not suitable will be supported in down other avenues. The Commission says it's made an educated guess about how much lethal medication it will need to order when the scheme starts, factoring in Tasmania's older, sicker population. It says there are already people waiting to access the laws and hopes at least 10 doctors will have completed online training by the end of the year. Every day is a fight, so I will know when I'm at the end of the road and I want to have a big rest. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.